In part two of this movie, we take a look at the coordinate systems. When you transform objects in a scene, it's important to understand some of the more valuable coordinate systems that are a part of 3ds Max. The base coordinate system is world, where the x, y, z orientations remain constant. This means no matter which viewport is active, the x, y, and z axes do not change, and the z axis is vertical. However, Using the world coordinate system in 3ds Max is not always the most productive way to work. As you transform objects in the scene, you're more likely to use the default view coordinate system. View works like world, if the active viewport is a 3D view-like perspective. But in orthographic views, the axis tripod reorients itself so that you're always facing the XY plane. This simulates working in 2D in an orthographic view where the XY plane always runs parallel to that view. It's important to note that even if the coordinate system is set to view, the transform type-ins still work in world mode. This is because by default, the transform type-ins are working, like world, in absolute mode. When switched to offset mode, the transform type-ins follow the current orientation of the viewports. An easier way to see this is by right-clicking the Move tool on the main toolbar. Notice the difference between the Absolute and Offset Transform options. Another useful coordinate system is Local. This is useful when you need to transform an object based on its current orientation. Notice how the local orientations of the three Jeeps are different as they are facing three different local Z directions. Local mode is mostly useful when you rotate objects. Notice how at this time, the rotor blades are piercing through the body of the helicopter. In local mode, the rotation is aligned and the blades spin properly. Different transform tools can be made to follow different coordinate systems. For example, rotate can be set to local, while Move is set to View. This is an important time saver. 